Okay, Molly, I was gonna make a video about how packing for camp sucks, but that last night I was watching John Green's videos about the evil baby orphanage, and I was like, oh my gosh, best idea ever. Go Brooke! You know, I, I don't know how, how you would come up with the idea of the evil baby orphanage, but it's awesome. And, you know, if, if you're watching this and you don't know what the evil baby orphanage is, then... You're dumb, but there's a link in the doobly-doo. So, you know, I was thinking, and I don't know why it's never been said before, but how come, like, people like Vlad the Impaler and Elizabeth Bathory have never been mentioned? These are my notes on why Elizabeth Bathory belongs in the Evil Baby Orphanage. And personally, I think that she should be the first person kidnapped and put into this orphanage. So, let me, let me just tell you a little bit about this woman. She was one of the first vampires. I mean, she was a real person and she didn't like transform into a bat and fly around and stuff, but she had a weird fascination with blood. She was married off at the age of 15 and um, she ended up in Romania in a castle and her husband would often go out and, you know, do stuff outside of the castle because that's what he enjoyed. She did not want to join him for various reasons. That doesn't really matter. But so, you know, while her hubby is out doing his thing, she's alone in this castle, bored. But she's royalty, so she has money, so she can afford to surround herself with people who interest her. And um, it just turns out that the kind of people who interested her were people who were involved in the dark arts. Um, you know, she was, she began hanging out with alchemists and witches and wizards and sorcerers and not the good kind, like Luna Lovegood or Dumbledore. No, she was hanging out with, like, people like Tom Riddle and Bellatrix Lestrange, except creepier. And so they taught her their arts and she just thought this was the coolest thing. But then her husband died and she became very interested in maintaining her youth and um one day you know something's going on and i'm i'm not sure why but she struck one of her servants when she struck this servant girl she hit her hard enough to draw blood and that some of that blood ended up on elizabeth battery herself so later um elizabeth's looking at this part of her skin where the blood was and she says oh you know what this this part of my skin where the servant girl's blood was it just it looks somehow re rejuvenated, and I, I must figure out why, so she goes to consult her alchemists. And of course, you know, these alchemists are enjoying her hospitality, she's got money, she can provide for them what they need, and so they're gonna tell her what they know she wants to hear, and so, so they say, oh yeah, girl, bathing in the blood of virgins, you know, not a lot of people do it because they think it's bad, it's all taboo and stuff, but it'll keep you young for like, ever, and I promise you should do it. So she's like, yeah, yeah, that's awesome, and, you know, she, she considers that enough proof that, you know, virgin blood is going to keep her young. And she figures, you know, if a little blood does the trick, then a lot of blood is going to e be even better. So she starts bringing peasant girls into her, her castle. Once they were in, um, they would be hung upside down and drained of blood, and she would bathe in their blood while it was still warm. You know, eventually she started to say, hey, the blood of these peasant girls is not doing what I hoped it would do. And it, it must be because they're peasants. So she began to invite girls of more noble birth to her castle under the pretense that she was going to help them finish their education and teach them proper etiquette and how to be a lady. And she, you know, began to kill them in the same way she had killed the peasants. You know, eventually she was caught because she made the mistake of throwing a few bodies over her castle wall and the peasants found them and people were like, hey, this is a problem. But before she was caught, she was responsible for the deaths of six to seven hundred virgins. She was creepy! I mean, n not only does she belong in the evil baby orphanage, she deserves her own wing. There I, I, I propose that the evil baby orphanage has a wing for people like her and Vlad the Impaler. She's creepy and evil baby orphanage. She needs to be kidnapped and taken to Tibet. Also, in completely unrelated news, I got bored a uh, few hours ago and went on Wikipedia and I may have edited the John Green bio and put French the Llama repeatedly in the middle of certain sentences. But I feel bad about defacing John Green's Wikipedia bio, so if it's still like this when I get back from camp, 
I promise I'll fix it.